In this video, we are going to fix flat and burn surfaces manually in Photoshop. Of course, there are many ways to fix burn surfaces manually, but as you know, two main subjects are important, quality and speed. Sometimes quality is your major goal and sometimes speed. But here I'm trying to show you a few techniques to get the average methods to achieve acceptable results in less time. You could of course use some tools like burn, blending layers with a darker color, adjusting exposure, light intensity level, but also we need to define which area exactly need to apply. For example, I could duplicate our layer, use burn and remove unwanted regions with a mask or even eraser tool, but first I'm trying to define the area we need to adjust and after isolating that, then starting to tweak it. There are many tools for selection like selecting by color range, using the magic wand, or even Blendif. Let me to show you to have a quick demonstration of how they are working. For example, I duplicate my layer, going to select menu, and color range, light in areas, we have here two types, selection and image. Of course, for preview here, selection is better. Also, for selection preview, we have different types. I personally prefer to enable quick mask. To add your selection areas, you could select add to sample or subtract from sample. Or simply, if you hold on the shift key, you can add your selection regions and alt to remove from selection. In this small preview sample, we could find out what is our selection. White is been selected and black is not. Also here you could even add your selection. I think we need more definition here or here. By holding the Alt or Option key, you could remove from selection. And OK, now you could simply start tweaking like using the curves. Or levels. Allow me to deselect it. Also, we could use something like magic wand or quick selection to have a selection here. But as you see, because of our highly detailed image and many intensity light similarity, getting reasonable result is a bit hard here. So we could use some other techniques like extract, lighten and darken and then use that as a mask. So I press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. I already duplicated the layer. Then I'm going to image menu, adjustment and threshold. By disabling or re-enabling preview mode, you could find which area you need. If I move this slider to the right side, as you see, blackness will expand it. And if I move to the left side, my light will expand it. I reset and set again to achieve closest result as I want. Don't worry about some other regions we don't want, like reflections or sky. Just focus on your main building. I think it is fine. Now press OK. Actually, we don't need this layer. We need that information as a mask. But first, if you check the threshold, especially here, because the threshold generates pure black and white, we have very jagged hard edges. So first, let me to make it a bit soft. To do that, I'm going to filter menu, blur, and Gaussian blur. You could also zoom here by pressing Ctrl or Command, or hold an Alt or Option key to zoom out, and adjust the blurness value, don't add too much. I think in this case 
1.6 it's fine okay now as you see we blurred our image but still some jagged edges exist to decrease the blurness and make it smooth we could use level to do that go to image menu again adjustment and select levels or press ctrl or command l now by increasing the lightness and darkness value you could increase contrast but note that do not expand on the one side too much for example if i use only lightness as you see my lightness will expand it too much and it will leak to unwanted area so try to keep your balance I think that's fine, press OK. To transfer this layer into the mask, press Ctrl or Command A to select all areas and from Edit menu select Copy or press Ctrl or Command C. We actually don't need this layer, we need just information from this layer to make a mask. So I remove this layer or I could invisible that, duplicate our original layer and create mask because i duplicated my layer from the smart layer so it is already a smart layer if wasn't simply right click in empty area and select convert to smart layer you cannot paste our information from that black and white layer into this mask directly if i press ctrl v as you see our information paste as a new layer so to paste our information into this mask hold on the alt or option key and click on this mask now press ctrl v or go to edit menu and paste to exit from mask mode you could again hold on the alt or option key and click or simply click on your image layer thumbnail and I'm going to select menu and deselect or command or control D now we have mask first of all allow me to adjust my mask hold on the alt or option and click select brush and make your foreground color black and start painting we don't need these regions Allow me to check. Also these areas. All right, I think that's fine. Now, if I select my layer and change anything, only the light in area will visible. For example, if I press Ctrl or Command I, and invert the color as you see only affected to this light and area actually it is not bad and because we have a smart layer we could simply disable invert adjustment so i could refine my mask here just simply click your mask in some earlier versions of photoshop if you double click you could enter to mask editor but in newer version you have to select and mask my preview mode is too intense so i prefer to go to the onion skin and start to adjust a bit more something like feather contrast and of course we have the shift edge here I think that's fine okay now I could select this invert and disable it and start adjusting in this step I'm going to image adjustment and I could using levels curve or exposure I think exposure will work here fine and I could tweak my exposure okay you could check before and after i think you get general idea how you could work also for example if i apply something like curve here i apply too much on purpose 
Imagine now you need to adjust this. You could simply double click on the curve and reduce the opacity. You could even select blend mode, something like darken or multiply. Or double click on this adjustment name here and readjust your value. And we have also mask for a smart filter. If I enable that, I could work like regular mask. I select it, decrease the flow value and start painting. Allow me to set my brush spacing by default value is 25 and slowly start to readjust any place I want. So this is before and this is after. However, you could still select your layer and decrease the opacity. All right, I think that's fine. In the next video, we will change the sky of our image.